BT Rocks, and my guest today is Mayor Linda, Sull Linda Joy Sullivan, and this is day 78. <laughs> You've survived 78 days. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me on. That's right. At least I have you counting the days for me. <laughs> That's right. I, to me, it's been one very big, long day. <laughs> I bet it has. But it's, it's wonderful. It's it is. It's been a journey. It's been a journey, and it will continue to be that. And hope I, so far, it's a good journey. I think that... Um, the people who elected me, and I'm hoping the rest of the people have accepted me, um, or at least mm -hmm. will tolerate me. And, <laughs> um, but the respect for a mayor is important because the mayor is part of the council, and right. we all have been working so well together, and mm -hmm. that's so important. Yes. And I have not found any member on the council who does not want just good things in the future for Newport. Right. and. Uh, my opening up my mayor hours and inviting a, the president of the council to join me, who that is very respectful. That is a really cool thing. Can you, can you talk a bit about it? Because not everybody sure. knows if they don't read the paper yeah, or right. cruise Facebook. Uh, sure. So um, Monday and Wednesday mornings from 9 to 11, mm -hmm. it's just open to the residents of Newport, business mm -hmm. people in Newport, to come and talk to us about issues that maybe they can't voice at a right. council meeting because it is the council meetings are really for the council right. members and um, regardless of how much they want to hear everything from their constituency it, you know it's just the way the law works so right. you know I've tried to give more comment time as much as I can however this this meetings of the mayor and the president of the council has been so rewarding mm -hmm. People are coming with issues that were not dealt with right. by the prior um, leaders, mm -hmm. and they just feel so comfortable that there's open discussion. Right. They, most of them are saying, we like that the other constituent base is here because we don't have to hide what we're talking about. Right. We want a camaraderie, right. and it's not anything that's horrific. It, some people have phenomenal ideas yes. about such talent here Isn't in it amazing? Newport. It's amazing, actually. Yes. Amazing. Um, I have um, coming up. I know one person is going to be talking about developing a dance studio. <laughs> And oh, they she, knew how to hook you in. That, uh, <laughs> exactly. And I thought, well, let's give her priority time. Yeah, that's <laughs> But people are coming in and saying, you know, pe pe the staff has been helpful on this issue, but we're at a standstill. Right. And so John, the president, and I have been able to look at different areas of how we can help them, maybe mm -hmm. get them better resources. Maybe it's not us, right. but direct them so they can get assistance. Yes. Um, and John, the president, I, I should call him the president of the council. I apologize, Mr. John. Um, <laughs> We're a little informal yeah, in this town. Yeah, I know. It's okay. <laughs> but um, he's just such a wealth of institutional right. knowledge. He is. So, he is. And he's been so gracious to me in mm -hmm. the fact that why I understand from the business perspective and my understanding of Newport and reading documents and concerns, I can ask him, what was the history of this issue right. from the day it began? And right. he will tell me, and he knows, mm -hmm. and he's so forthcoming. Mm -hmm. And that's very important so that I can then take that information and look at the information provided to me by others mm -hmm. and blend it. So, you know, you need to have it whether you agree with it or not. Right. You still need to know what has happened before. Absolutely. It, did it fail? Did it pass? Um, how did we get How did here? we get here? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so very, very helpful. I found that when I um, speak with each individual council member just to give them an agenda item mm -hmm. or something that they need to be ready to respond to. Um, I just tell them what it is and they're grateful. Yeah. They're, yeah. <laughs> they're saying, oh, thank you. We'll think about that, you know, because I'll just say such and such is on the agenda. 
you know, and if you have any questions, contact, mm -hmm. you know, if you can contact me or you call the business, the office, the lawyers. So they're you quite can aware. Ask community people. That's, That's right. a novel idea. That's exactly right. We told them that. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but some things were like, maybe contracts or things like yeah. that. So yeah. I told them, you know, for legal issues, they need to talk to the attorneys. Sure. Um, and most of the time, there was information provided to them that they needed before council meetings. Mm -hmm. So it's not directives. It's just, here's what's going to be on the agenda. Right. You may like to research, do your research prior, as opposed mm -hmm. to just opening up a packet. Right and saying, wait a second, what's this about? And the vote goes down. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, of course <laughs> it is. Of course it is. And the council members are working people. They are volunteers. Well, I know they get a stipend. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry to laugh. I know. I, right. Um, but don't spend it all in one place. Don't spend it all in one place, right? But unless they are so, <laughs> unless it's downtown, yeah. going out to eat, right? And buying, right. And buying the uh, inventory from other people. <laughs> so. They are, they really have their hearts in the right place. Yeah. I really have found that. Um, and so for me, what, how many days? 78? 78. Ooh. August the 1st you were elected. That's right. That's right. That's right. So 78 days has been really good. Really yeah. good. Good to help the people. Um, sometimes people don't see you as helping because they haven't realize that you're doing informational things behind the scenes right. you're negotiating things for that as as approved mm -hmm. behind the scenes you're rearranging how um issues on the balance sheet should be reclassified right. you know yeah. and you're saying well this is what really should happen you know um maybe you should move this, do an adjusting journal right. entry here, and reclassify and what would be the consequences. Yeah. And so those are the things as a business person and right. as a CPA that I, of course, would look at. Mm -hmm. um, and I see things differently than most people, most <laughs> lay people, because yeah. I'm trained to do that. So I right. might see a balance sheet and if somebody ha and the city doesn't have this, but if somebody had like negative depreciation on mm -hmm. it, I would say like there's no such thing as negative depreciation, so that's a red flag. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those are the kinds of things that I would look for. It's easier for me to see right um, income statements and balance sheets and yeah. cash flow statements and mm -hmm. know where to look. Yeah, um, as a forensic. Um, right. auditor so which was something that citizens asked for because we had a lot of budget Correct. questions and mm -hmm. we had no way of getting information and right. what that did of course was build frustration as you saw when you came in but I saw that you know yeah. and and it's fair yes it's totally fair to have frustration and that's why I think those mayor meetings are really important. Mm -hmm. um, I have offered to meet with my constituents who can't make it there, right. as everybody knows. Like I try my best to mm -hmm. give them time. I appreciate better that they come to those right. meetings because I do have to do other work. Um, well, one of the, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> one of the other things that we've talked about here at the studio is you having a consistent time here. Mm -hmm. I Your would, thing, not me or anybody else. I would love you to questions. do that. Um, the uh, Newport Express has given me a uh, mayor's corner now. Cool. So I will be posting my updates there. My first one was in and mm -hmm. they that seemed to be welcome, but just yes. by those people who read that. <laughs> this to me would be absolutely wonderful if I right. was able to have this time. Yeah. Because that's also aired. Yes. And then, you know, people can watch it whenever they like and we can bring in people who are important to the city. Yes. Um, all the issues that are being discussed that are not personal and confidential. Right. But you can talk about the other elements around it that aren't issues that are important to the people. Well, just something simple like speeding. I mean, exactly. that's driving people crazy right now. And I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, because I would like to see as many Newport City residents stay alive as exactly. we can. Um, I think that's really healthy. And <laughs> people like me running down the street with my garden rake wanting to take out a motorist. There you go. I have to say has happened. There you go. So. Right. And so I did not hear that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I think those <laughs> issues, to have them tell the public right. and discuss it with their mayor and a, fellow, a member of the council, which yeah. I am. Okay. Or even the police chief. That, oh, absolutely. But give them direction in who else they could speak right. with. And how and, could it change? And how perhaps have the, that person on board here with the show as well. Yes. So it would be lovely to have, say, constituent and the police chief if that was an issue that was complimentary. Right. And have them both speak together and answer questions. Um, you could run your time any way you yeah. choose. I would just <laughs> adore that. I think yeah. it would be so beneficial. You know, I've had experience doing TV and radio before, yes. so it's not just um, a dropping of the gavel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should explain that. <laughs> <laughs> so, for, the, for those right. who wonder what that comment is about, <laughs> perhaps we'll keep them wondering. <laughs> no, <laughs> it'll keep them watching the show. <laughs> it might. But they'll watch it anyway. Right. It was a miscommunication about the gavel at a city council meeting. Right. So it you was know, very the mayor in the beginning w had taken the gavel innocently yeah. um, back <laughs> from the meeting room, but it wasn't in the council meeting room. My first meeting was at, at the, gateway. the gateway, and I didn't know who cleaned <laughs> up the gateway. <laughs> so I took the gavel back thinking I'll bring it back, yeah. and then surprise, somebody thought that I was You'd taking it for power. <laughs> <laughs> that little hammer. <laughs> right. But anyway, the gavel funny. is safe yes. and sound oh, where it belongs. I'm relieved. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, I guess I'll have to ask for it. My own gavel is a present, maybe, from someone else. I <laughs> bet you could get one. But, it, you know, but that was quite a, a fun, fun thing to listen to. It was. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, everybody has their opinion, and it's like, okay, just go right. for it. Um, but you have to keep a sense of humor as human beings because sometimes we're going to find humor in everything or nothing and we mm -hmm. need to just say, hey, come on back as human beings. Let's be civilized and rational right. and let's just laugh a little bit yes. <laughs> because it's not demeaning to the person. It, it's just, come on, you know, remember, yeah. um, what was it? The kids show. Kids say the darndest thing. Yes. It's fun to laugh at yourself as it other is. people do. You know, that's what we're supposed to do. And you guys on the council are not going to survive if you don't have a <laughs> sense of humor. It's truly not. Right. And I might have a little bit more dry sense of humor than others, but, you know, that's okay too because it keeps mm -hmm. me happy. <laughs> well, <laughs> That counts. <laughs> right. And it keeps me sane. Um, yeah. But going back to doing a show like this and incorporating um, some of the people or issues that yes. I've been hearing at the mayor's hours yes. would be so beneficial to the residents of Newport it City. It would. And to the business people and hopefully to the governor and his administration because we need to tap into there to get as much <laughs> benefits as we can. And, you know, th I am thankful to the governor for saying he really is interested in helping Newport and he is available now because he's eager to help with a new leadership. He thinks there can be a new um, a new openness. That would be wonderful and I because agree. the cynic sitting over here says, mm -hmm. can we please have an active demonstration of that? Because it's been lacking. Right. And he so has actually said, that, you know, call me anytime. Mm -hmm. I will come. I will speak. And I'm going to be doing that. I'm going that be to great. be asking him to please come and speak to my people. My, my, my people. My people. We are my in constituency. Here. <laughs> I want them to understand my constituents to understand that yeah. I'm available. Um, right. And and I'm okay. Like if you want to yell about something you're unhappy that's cool. with, that's why I'm here. You know, yeah. nobody's attacking one another. And we would like the NEK, the Northeast Kingdom, Newport to be on the map. We exist. We are not just a sacrifice zone where we get oh. a landfill, a prison, and no resources, which is what's happened. You're absolutely right, because the Newport City is the hub of the Northeast Kingdom. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and we have the lake. And so we're we in danger are of losing. That's right. And we have the attraction for tourists to come. Yes. And we're it lovely. can be revitalized. And I agree 100%. 
um, you know, I was on institutions when I was in the legislature, uh -huh. as opposed to being in the institution I was on. <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both, right. And so I was also on commerce, but then I was yeah. moved to the institutions, which is a money committee. And I found that most people don't know that. People <laughs> think the money committee is just ways and means and appropriations. Right. But it's not. What they don't realize is ways and means and appropriations is the income statement. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the revenue and the expenses, and institutions is the balance sheet of the state, the capital bill. Uh -huh. so, so you're all the ones with the your hands in it. And liabilities, <laughs> so what you want to do is be very careful mm -hmm. if you're depleting the assets where right. they're going or you're sure. increasing your liabilities, you don't want to right. strip your balance sheet. Right. So, of course, there's that tension yes. between the income statement and the balance sheet. You know, mm -hmm. um, the ones who want revenue or want appropriations right. can come to institutions and say, we want money, but the right. money is restricted money. It's only for capital improvements. And yeah. so we have to be careful not to sure. play with that. However, coming back to <clears throat> Uh, Newport mm -hmm. and bringing buildings here. What the institutions committee oftentimes does, which mm -hmm. I have found, is they will um, defer maintenance to you so that they'll have more revenue. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So they could use the revenue for other areas. So if you defer maintenance, you're not repairing mm -hmm. things. Eventually, your buildings are going to get in such disrepair Which that it doesn't... Horrendous, it, right. That's correct. So like we have a an issue with a courthouse right now. Yes, we do. And monies were not put into that courthouse because revenues, um, it was deferred, the maintenance right. was deferred to use the monies elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So now you have a bigger issue. Yes. So that's one of the questions for Newport. How do we deal with that? And that's mm -hmm. one of the questions for the governor and telling the governor, well, Newport's position is this and you need to respect that mm -hmm. and work with us and we want to revitalize right. Newport. We want more revenues coming in. We do not want to just be um, a sister city to your state house. <laughs> Right. We certainly do right. not. We <laughs> want to have um, yeah. be a vibrant place where yes. people can come and f let's fix the houses. Right. Okay. Let's invite younger families to come in. Let's invite partners to come in. Let's have them single people. Let's have everybody, yeah. regardless of who they are, have an opportunity to right. join Newport, take a house, take right. an apartment, and possibly have more business opportunities to work in Newport. Right. And watch the uh, tourists come in. Right. And the more you can offer from something that they generates come. excitement. Right. And sometimes we make the mistake of thinking that what we're asking for is money to be hurled our way, which would be delightful, but that's not the only thing. We have community here That's correct. who's resourceful, who come up with great ideas, and who can implement them. It doesn't have to be community says, hey, council, this is what we want to do, and the council says, we'll think about it, correct. and then we'll decide if we're going to do it. Absolutely. The word is, go do it. Correct. And why not? Right. And you, what you just said, it's not always about we want money. Exactly. Money comes with another side. Mm -hmm. What are you giving up? And what is it going right. to cost you? Of so course. it's not just, you know, oh, you know, go under the bridge and there's a suitcase waiting for you. I like <laughs> okay, it. we would hope that. But, you know, when you get money, mm -hmm. there's an agreement right. for that money. So you have to balance, mm -hmm. do you want that money? Yes. What's the cost benefit for that money? Exactly. And I think the council is really putting in due diligence now to Good. look at this. I think they're saying, I really want to understand, and they have understood. They're like intelligent people, mm -hmm. and they, they need the information. Right. And you can't just say, look in your packet the mm -hmm. day of the council meeting. You have to be informed. Um, and you have to be allowed to ask questions, and of course the council has that authority to ask questions. Mm -hmm. so, and they should. <laughs> of course, they are the 
yeah. the controlling <laughs> force. And so I think that, but that's such a, an important point that you said. We don't just want money because we don't. No. I say we want to have a city that actually says you could be happy here. Right. When I moved here, which is 15, 16 years ago now, it was a heartbeat. Wow, a it pulse. Was, it was a pulse. It was important. And okay, the city was no richer then. In fact, it was probably less rich then than it is now. But we can have that back. Of course. And you know, we have such artistic talent We have here. amazing talent. I was blown away. Okay, I'm always blown away by any talent, and across mm -hmm. Vermont, we have such amazing, yeah, talented people. And, you know, I'm so into anybody's talent, you know, mm -hmm. especially the ones that I don't have. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> For me, that's most of them. But. <laughs> right. And so, I'm with you. Um, and so, to see artists trying to put their artwork in a, a vacant building right. just to make it more attractive, yes. to volunteer, to do music outside, right. children, karaoke, yes. uh, on the street on, what is it, Wednesday night or Friday yeah. night by the Crooked... Crooked something. Stripe. Stripe. Cro stripe. Crooked Stripe. 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 That yeah. was phenomenal. Yes. I mean, I sat there just watching these young people and adults. But mm -hmm. when you see young people begin, and I sit there and go, you know what? They've got it right. 15 years ago, we had that. Oh, yeah. This is coming around. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's wonderful that it's coming back. That's right. But that's the right. energy didn't go away. It may have gone dormant for a while. But it's back out there. You know, and years ago at Newport, you know, I mean, we had all of the sailors coming over because we had that yeah. hotel and you had right. the music, Dizzy Gillespie yeah. and everybody. Real music. I mean, that was like, seriously, yeah. like, you know, New Orleans, mm -hmm. Manhattan. And, you know, but that vibrancy yeah. of the village in New York, you mm -hmm. know, people were out there. Pe music makes everybody it united. Does. Music is just the real universal language. Right. You know? It really <laughs> It really is, because you can work with music in any language you want. You're listening to the beats, your body's mm -hmm. going, it brings a smile, you clean your head. Everybody knows, right. for some reason, everybody knows the words to every song. Well, they make them up. They make them up, and it's okay. You know, I used yeah. to do that. I, used I did to make too. Them, yeah. <laughs> we all did. I was like, oh, is that what's really Gene said? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, well, no matter. That's, that's right. I mean, and I even, it's like even funny, there was like that old record. I remember my sister, my older sister had a, that beach with four, five, seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine. And I'm like going, I remember that phone number, but I don't remember my own phone <laughs> number. <laughs> and so music does that, that yeah. association. But I think for our streets of Newport, mm -hmm. what you just said, the revitalization, bringing back the music, unites the people. Yes. When uh, we went to the uh, Wednesday, what was it called? The waterfront. Wa right, the waterfront. Fabulous. I just walked around. And that was yeah. my campaigning time. Yeah. And yes. I just said, this music is doing it. This exactly. music, nobody here mm -hmm. is thinking about any issues they have with one another. No. Everybody here is just sitting. Happy. Happy, listening to the music, mm -hmm. dancing with one another. Eating popcorn. Shaking hands, <laughs> eating popcorn. Popcorn is the key. It's <laughs> a bonding <laughs> device. That's right. Exactly right. <laughs> but... I think that right now, if we focus on speaking with some of the business people as well, mm -hmm. because they have experience and they, they know do. what's successful, what issues they have, what competition works, right. what competition doesn't. You know, there is competition that's complementary right. to other business that they really spin off of and sometimes they yeah. get a byproduct mm -hmm. that they can use in their business. Right. So they're important, they're and valued. remembering that we're not just this little piece of Main Street, that's right. that there's East Main and West Main and they're an integral part and we can't just build one at the expense of the other. So when I hear the downtown development right. stuff, mm -hmm. it's offensive <laughs> in some ways because it all counts. That's, you're right, it count. should be everybody. Everything. Everybody, we're so small. Mm -hmm. Why are we just building in one neighborhood and not the rest? Correct. We all complement each other. 
And we have to look at that. And yes. that's, that's <laughs> something that is um, going to be looked at by the council. They're going to Good. be expanding <laughs> to s now that they have a lot more knowledge mm -hmm. and they're actually taking and I'm not saying they didn't have the knowledge before, but I'm saying I think that the fact that we're all speaking with one another openly yeah. and sharing information um, as each one of us finds it or answering questions for one another, um, it opens our ideas and minds and it extends right. to the citizens. We have fabulous stores on East Main oh, Street. Yes. <laughs> Why are we acting as if they're invisible? That, exactly. Uh, but we do need to get the people to come here. Yes. And so we have the opportunity with, you know, the lake. Yes. And we have the opportunity. We're neighbors to Canada. Yes, we are. We have the potential to develop an airport. A real airport. A real right? airport. Yes. A huge potential there. But like with it not to be a huge airport. No, no, but nice you know, well, it can't airport. be any bigger than the runway. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. So, uh, but huge potential. <laughs> yes. Which opens the doors. Yeah. And it does. and you know it shouldn't just be Burlington. No. <laughs> because the Northeast Kingdom is, as I said, the central part is Newport City. Mm -hmm. We are the hub. Yes. And so working, say, with Coventry to develop mm -hmm. that and the people who have the hangers, they're all interested yes, in that. Yes, they are. And I don't think that the administration is going to shy away from that as well mm -hmm. because it's beneficial. And there was some groundwork done with that a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And then COVID hit, of course, and everything fell apart. But the people in Coventry have been really helpful to Newport. Their community, too. Right. And I think also, you know, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think Coventry and Newport at one point were joined in the legislature with yes. Representative Marcotte. So there is we a union and a bond. Rezoned. Right, but it was a bond. Yes. Because they should be, exactly. you know, working together. And though it was rezoned, regardless of the reason, we're still right. bound. And so we can develop together. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because there's so much that can be done when you are working with another municipality. Yes. And when the Vermont League of City and Towns people um, had spoken with me and with the, Mr. Wilson, the President Wilson, yeah. they were saying, you know, municipalities need to be working more in a strategic way. Agreed. And we <laughs> should be able to find how that could happen and we agree with that. You I was know. delighted last night that you talked about trainings being made available from the League. Yes. And hopefully those will include some citizens. Oh absolutely. It should. That would be great. And yet there are trainings that the council will be taking. Uh -huh. absolutely. Hopefully staff. Yeah. And definitely opportunities for trainings for citizens. Yes. So I'm going to be contacting them and we're going to be designing a proposal and then cool. presenting that that is all inclusive. Because those of us who are JPs, for example, have had zero training, anything that we, zero. Oh. And that's true for the other communities around here. Anything that we've learned, we've had to learn for ourselves. And that includes things like weddings and other. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. That's so really interesting. A lot of people would be really willing to be more involved mm -hmm. if there were ways to be supported as you get involved. And those are, I'm fortunate now that I'm here with you and you're telling me this. Yeah. Those are the types of issues that come up in my mayor meetings. Yeah, I'm sure. And so I hear this. And if I could, he now that I've heard this, I would definitely be looking into this. Sure. I was a justice of the peace down when I right. was in Dorset mm -hmm. um, and you're on you know the Board of Civil Authorities right. and so I was fortunate to have understood that role mm -hmm. so when I came here I do understand that role right. and I totally appreciate Justice of the Peace <laughs> the people who volunteer to do that they become elected I mean that is amazing because that is actually a position that people don't understand has authority. Oh yes. Okay. And then people aren't aware of that. Um, they also aren't aware that they have such responsibility, and they are also held to a higher fiduciary responsibility mm -hmm. and accountable to the public. Exactly. And so 
they deserve the training, the awareness. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make sure that cool. that is part of my information given mm -hmm. to the Vermont um, League so that they can incorporate that in suggestions for us. That would be fabulous. Yeah. Any others? I don't know, but I'm sure there yeah. will be. The sad thing is we're running out of time. Oh. <laughs> We've talked our way through another 30 minutes. I know. <laughs> it's so easy. Not, not because we're chatty. <laughs> not me, anyway. <laughs> this is wonderful. I can't thank you I'm enough so for this. I'm so glad you came in. I hope to do this again. Absolutely. And hopefully with a council member next time as well. would be wonderful. And I really look forward to whatever you're going to call the show that the mayor and whoever else are going to do regularly. So thank you so much for coming in again. Thank you. Thank you so much.